Welcome to this week's JBA Coach to Coach Video of the Week, brought to you by Netlink Sports, the preferred court provider of the JBA. Hi, this is Eric Schultz with VC United, and this is our Pass to Attack combination drill. Okay, let me take you through the initial setup of the drill um, and the execution. Uh, first of all, we have all of our liberos will be here uh, in middle back. Uh, on the court, our attackers, we put all of our pins, uh, left sides or and right sides over here. And left back, she's kind of hidden back there behind the setter. Um, our middles are on the 10-foot line, uh, left side of the court, working on specific footwork. And then our setters will be here in the slot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just roll the video forward. What you'll see as we get into this is there will be a lot of uh, communication and work on the 5-6 seam uh, that in between our libero and our outside. And then we will be working on specific step timing uh, with our players offensively uh, to get into these combinations to increase our ability to first ball side out. One of the first things you noticed here is how well the players are communicating their scene responsibilities. In this particular situation, the left side is going short, uh, the libero is going deep, but you see the pointing and the communication throughout the drill. Okay, here's a good example of the step timing that we're looking at. We'll go ahead and roll this back. Our, our one ball for our middles is considered a third step timing, so we want our players to be on their third step. Uh, so if we roll back here, her right foot would be the first step. Second step will be her left. Third step on as the ball is hitting the setter's hands. She might be a slight bit early, and then we'll go ahead and let it go, and she'll go ahead and be able to hit that in rhythm. Okay, we're going to move forward into a gap-go combination, which is a different combination, and we're going to focus a little bit more on the step timing. Okay, so our go is what we consider a second step timing. Uh, I definitely think we'd want to correct this passing form, but uh, in regards to the step timing, you'll see that our outside gets out onto her second step of her four-step approach. Step one is right here on her right foot, and she's on the second step uh, right here, as the ball is in our setter's hands. And that allows our setter to go a little quicker to the pin, which will, uh, in fact, allow us to terminate a little quicker. Um, our gap is also considered a third step timing. So again, you'll see the steps here from our middle. One step with the right foot, second step, she is on three, again, on her right foot as the ball is in our setter's hands, and that's going to allow her to connect uh, on this particular set. Here's another example of a combination here. We're going to go slide rip, so our middles are going to be running our slide. Our outsides will be coming in and running a rip ball. And uh, the combinations in this drill are not as important as the understanding that this pass to attack uh, work uh, is super important to develop the type of rhythm and timing that we need uh, to increase our first ball side out percentage. Our last combination here for the purposes of this video, uh, now we're going to have our attacker stay out and hit our five and our middles come across, now starting on the right side of the court, uh, moving in for the gap. Again, creating this traffic and this movement uh, is super important for our passers to learn how to pick up the ball uh, and to, again, to create the timing that we're looking for. Thank you for watching the JVA Coach to Coach video, video of, of the week. week.